Okay, we're going to continue on with the cradle. And here you have your uh, two side pieces with the holes drilled out in the arc. You also have your hinge hole up in the top corner. Okay, then we're going to take a dowel rod that fits the holes that we drilled. And I'm just going to cut off uh, you know, a piece here wide enough to fit through the board and still stick out enough to uh, uh, support the bracket. Just whatever you feel comfortable with, and it really depends on the size of the wood you use on the brackets. And then we're going to go ahead and put the uh, cradle together here. This is one of our bottom boards, and I'm just going to put a few screws right here to mount these uh, side pieces in place. And this is the longer of the two uh, side pe or bottom pieces. And here I'm just going to drill uh, some pilot holes that fit the screws I'm going to use. Again, nothing fancy here. Um, I'm going to kind of glue them in place. Just a little extra support here. And then I'll go ahead and take my uh, screws and screw that right in place. And I put about four screws in each one. Depending on the size cradle you do, you might want more or less. Clean up any excess glue that you might have. And then do the same thing that you did here on the other side. And let that dry. Okay, now the, once it's done, you're going to see we're going to have our upper bottom piece. I guess that's what we'll call it. And notice how we've made it so it can move back and forth here. Now I'm going to put a couple of holes in here um, just so we can screw it in place once we've got the size that we want uh, figured out. But now also notice that one of your side pieces is a little shorter than the other. One's going to go on the bottom, the other will go on the top uh, piece here. So you have to compensate so that the uh, holes will align correctly. And now we've just went ahead and did the same thing, did some pilot holes, and put this in place on that uh, fixed side. And then I'll do the same thing here. Make sure you've got these sides lined up. And then we're going to put our edge here and make it flush with that edge there. Here you can see the uh, finished thing where you've got the two pieces together and the one side's movable. And again, I'm just going to put some screws there in the side that'll keep that in place. Um, so it's not going to be a permanent screw there. The idea here is just to drill it when you find the width that you want. Put these screws in there without any glue and it'll hold the whole thing in place. And here I just set it at a random point. And our screws are in there so that you know we can uh, keep this fixed. And this isn't going to slide back and forth. Set your position. Screw it in place. Okay, now we're going to put the brackets on. And here, again, I'm just using a, a washer with a nut on a piece of all thread that's wide enough just to go in there and give me a little bit of extra room. Same thing on the other side. These don't have to be super tight. You know, you want the arm to move pretty freely. And 
And you can see how it's going to move up and down. And then wherever you put your dowel in, that'll provide the stop. And that can actually hold a fair amount of weight. It uh, should hold your amp chassis just fine. Do the same thing on this side. And here we have the completed uh, cradle ready to put a chassis in.